morning, guys. I'm Chill Will. I'm playing 2,000 points of High Fleet Megalodon today. And I am Sergeant So-and-So. I will be playing 2,000 points of World Eaters today. Welcome to Swamp Tactics. It's going to be an epic battle. The forces of the World Eaters have mustered on a planet to plan an attack against the Imperium when, alas, they have been beset by the Xenos Legion hordes of High Fleet Megalodon. Okay, so this is my Forces of Corn. I like to call it the Eightfold Eight. We have all of my squads of Corn Berserkers, which is all we have really, are eight-man squads of Corn Berserkers. These ones here in the front, these three right here, and this one right here are pretty much kitted out the same with only maybe a few minor changes. So um, they're gonna have uh, five chainsaw dudes and three axes for each of these. I've got Karn the Betrayer here, and I've got a um, Dark Apostle with two disciples. He's gonna have a Violent Urgency, no, I'm sorry, he's gonna have Illusionary Supplication and Wrathful Entreaty. Illusionary Supplication gives off a six inch bubble that gives a five plus invulnerable save. And the other one adds two to his strength. Uh, and then of course he can he can use the one that lets him reroll ones too, the one that they all come with. Uh, I have a Demon Prince of Corn, um, just pretty much vanilla there. Uh, I've got these two squads here they are also eight-man squads like all my other squads, but these have about split half and half axes and swords, and these two squads have banners, which will let them reroll charges, as well as this squad right here wrapped around uh, the Demon Prince there. In this rhino is going to be this squad and my Master of Executions, who has the uh, relic... Um, it's a it's called the berserker's glaive it's basically strength times two d3 damage instead of uh strength plus one flat two damage so that one's pretty cool and then uh it also does mortal wounds when he rolls sixes in the wound so that's pretty gross and then i've got hell brute uh, heavy flamer hand power uh, uh hell brute hand and then a multi melta and then i've got another one kitted out exactly the same I've got some Terminators over here. I'm planning on spending two command points to give them the Red Butchers, which will give them Blood for the Blood God, basically makes them uh, Corn Berserker Terminators. And they also have a banner that I've kind of kit bashed on there that'll let them reroll charges. They got Combi Bolters, two of them got Combi Flamers, and one of them has that Auto Cannon. And then over here, I've got another Rhino stuffed with another Hateful Eight, and they also have my um, Warlord. He's gonna be the Dark, no, I'm sorry, he's gonna be the Exalted Champion. He's got Violent Urgency, which will add one to all charge rolls for any friendly world eaters that are within six inches of him. And then he's got the Relic Gorefather, that awesome chain axe there. Um, Gorefather is a very powerful chain axe uh, relic that should do some, some pretty nasty damage. And that's pretty much my whole army. It's not very complex. There's a lot of corn berserkers, but we'll probably be making some advanced moves on the table. All right, Will, you brought your Tyranids? Yeah, today I brought my Tyranids. What you uh, got, bro? So I have 2,000 points of High Fleet Kraken, but I call them High Fleet Megalodon. Megalodon, I like that. So yeah, I have two detachments. I have a spearhead and a battalion. And in my battalion, leading it up is two Hive Tyrants. The non-winged one is my Warlord. He has the Relic Chameleonic Mutation which is the Kraken specific relic that makes him minus one to hit in the shooting phase. And his psychic powers are Catalyst and the Horror. Okay. And then my Flyrant has um, Adrenal Glands and he has the psychic powers Onslaught and Synaptic Lure. Okay, what does Synaptic Lure do? It's the Kraken 
specific psychic power from Blood of Ball. Uh -huh. So it's a five inch warp charge. Or, a, yeah, a power. You have to roll a five or better to get the spell off. Right. And it lets me pick any unit, and I can reroll charge rolls against that unit. Okay, cool. And then Onslaught, everybody hopefully knows what Onslaught is. Yeah. It's a very good. If you don't, when we cast it, if we do, we'll show you what it does. So, and then for my troops, I have 30 Termagants, 20 Gene Stealers, and a nine man squad of Tyranid Warriors. That's a big squad with of warriors. Death Spitters and three Venom Cannons. Okay. And then in my elites, I have a three man squad of Pyro Wars. And nice. then in my spearhead, I have old one eye nice. with a Tyrannofex, a Trigon Prime, and three Carnifexes. Three little sidekick Carnifexes. Now. And this, the Carnifexes, so cool thing about all of them is I paid for Spore Cysts, so they're going to be minus one to hit in the shooting. Okay, so they release a dust cloud that... Yes. Makes it hard to see them, right? Yes. Like this this fog that they roll with. And then uh, all of them, except for this one, mm -hmm. has adrenal glands. Okay, so cool. these two have adrenal glands. This one doesn't. And then their head morph that I paid for is the bioplasma, so they get to shoot Okay, so acid they can spit an acid, you. yeah. Um, so basically... This is your army, and everything is the way it's kitted out, pretty much, except for that last few stuff you said, right? Yes. Everything right. is what you see is what you get. That's pretty awesome. This is a intimidating list, Will. It's a, it's a lot of monsters. It is. You know? Supposedly in ninth, monsters are going to be good again, so... We're going to see how I do with monsters in our farewell to 8th. We'll see. I mean, this is our last day in 8th. So this is the last time you can daisy chain, man. You better... Man, I've got 30 termagants. I'm a daisy chain. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. I'm going to. <laughs> so, it looks like we rolled up Crusade for our game here. We have selected the armies. Will, we have done the battlefield, correct? Yes, sir. We have a glorious battlefield. So we don't need numbers, right, for no. for our objectives. The only thing really to note, like we take turns putting objectives, the only thing to note is the reason we use coins and these discs is sometimes when you're dealing with the terrain, the disc won't fit properly on this terrain. So what we do is we use a coin instead, which will supersede on this terrain. But everywhere else... For us, the discs are what we really use to measure because really it's very simple. Like if your guy's within it, he's got it, right? There's no question. There's no question. So this is probably the only one where we're going to have to measure to see if dudes are actually where they can score. But yeah, so in Crusade, the way it works is it's pretty, it, this is the basic uh, eternal war match which is great because our armies are pretty simple they just want to murder each other um it's basically season control starting from the second battle round each player scores one victory point for each of their objective markers they control at the start of their turn so when the round starts that's when we'll be scoring season control uh, it's one point for each objective you are and you have it if you're within three inches and that's why we use our little discs uh, we have slay the warlord which is if you kill the warlord you get a point first strike obviously uh if you kill someone in the first battle round or a whole unit in the first battle round you get a point and then line breaker is at the end of the game if you're in the enemy's deployment zone you score a point so this is what it looks like right now will you want to roll for attacker and defender yes sir so here we go. This is gonna be for High Fleet, right? High Fleet Megalodon. They got a seven. World Eaters. We got a five. We'll we'll try to seize. We'll see if we can seize. But that means Will is gonna choose. Well, it depends on what Will chooses. Uh, I'm gonna be the attacker. The attacker? Yes, of course. You're gonna pounce on us. Uh, which means I will be the defender. So I'm going to determine the deployment zone. Uh, one spearhead spearhead is these purple lines we have here uh it makes kind of a 
a spear, if you would. And there's one on the other side that goes like this and over there. So Will, did, Will picked attacker, so he's gonna put all of his units on the table first. Let's see how they show up. Oh man, I'm sorry. Yeah, we didn't even, we, we kind of skipped the whole thing there. Uh, yeah, I'm supposed to pick a side because I got the defender. Uh, I'm actually going to pick that side over there. Okay. So Will will be on this side. Now let's see where he ends up. Okie dokie. Looks like this is how he deployed. Pretty dug in pretty on the line if you can see there like they're waiting to get out the gate uh so explain to us a little bit uh what's going on here uh we, i think we forgot to go over your warlord trait uh, i don't have a warlord trait no uh, i took an adaptive physiology which i gave to my tyrannal fix so you get one free one i get one free one and i gave him a five up in bone okay uh, the adaptive physiology is called dermic symbiosis um, and then I spent a command point for another one for the Tyranid Warriors in front of him. For oh, the whole squad. The whole squad. They have enhanced resistance, which allows them to ignore AP minus one and AP minus two. Okay, that's cool. And their base save is what, a four up? Yes. So basically they get a four up unless I'm modding you down minus three. Yes. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. It lets me keep them alive just a little longer. So this is how he ended up. And, and you got some units in Deep Strike, Will? Yeah, I've got uh, a fly rent and a Trigon with three Pyrovores. So these Pyrovores here, they're in the tunnel that he makes. Yes. And he's hovering over our battlefield right now. And he's watching, seeing how things are going to unfold. Shrouded by the clouds. That's everything, Will? Yep, that's it's everything. My Warlord is right here, though. Uh-huh. So he's your for the for the sake of scoring and stuff. That's your warlord. Okay, that's good to note. Um, all right, Will. This looks just as uh, intimidating as it did on the board. So <laughs> we'll see how uh, corn fares. All right, this is how I turned up. The um, forces of corn were amassing, and I got caught with their pants down by these. Tyranid swarms. Uh, so I got uh, my corn berserkers, kind of some of them on the back line. They're all getting affected, hopefully, by his five up invone bubble if I roll it correctly. And then um, over here, I've got two rhino, my two rhinos. This one has my warlord in it, uh, my exalted champion. And then my guys are kind of hiding over here. And these guys are kind of posted up. They're gonna try to take on some Carnifexes today. And I've got Karn the Betrayer over here. I'm gonna see if he can hang with some Gene Stealers. And then these are the last guys I dropped. I spent some command points on them actually when I dropped them. Apocalyp apocalyptic, apocalyptic frenzy. <laughs> that's, a, that's a weird word. But... That is a new one for me. I'm gonna Google that one later. Uh, for your army at the start of the first battle round, but before your first turn begins. So I, basically, when I put them down, I have to use this stratagem uh, precisely when I put them down. But it activates before the first battle round movement starts. I can take that unit and move them nine inches as long as they're not within nine inches of an enemy model. To sum it up, I started with nine. I spent two for Butcher's Frenzy, or uh, for Red Butcher's here. And I spent one for an extra Relic. And then I spent another one for Apocalyptic Frenzy so these guys can move later. But that's pretty much where guys, my guys ended up. We're gonna go ahead and get this puppy started. And I'm gonna try to seize for the Blood God. Oh no, it's a will. Looks like you're gonna start this thing. Turn one. Turn one. Okay, so before he gets too deep into his movement phase, we forgot uh, uh, my priest's prayer. So he's gonna use illusionary supplication. Uh, I have plus one because my disciple's there. So I think I get it on a three. 
So Illusionary Supplication is going to give my guys a 5 up invulnerable save while they're within 6 inches of the priest. So that'll help us stay on the table a little bit. All right, Will, what'd you, you moved uh, these guys. I moved my concept. Kind of conga line a little bit. Yeah, could you do it still? You got the uh, the warriors kind of advanced a little bit. Well, they didn't advance, but they move forward. Move forward, and then push it forward. We're about to do some advance rolls. Doing some advance rolls. We're gonna advance these gene stealers here. Okay. Six. Oh, that's not good. That's, that's the good number. And it's you're cracking. Roll. You could roll two dice, huh? I get to roll three dice. Yeah, but I don't think you can roll higher than that. I so I think so you're good. Okay. Yeah, so let's see where those guys end up. Okay, so they all move up to that red line there. Um, so it looks like he moved these Carnifexes around this wall here. Old One Eye came from out this cave over here. And your tyrant moved up. Am I missing anything, Will? Nope. We had a gentleman's discussion about the Carnifex going through the door. I said, I said it's cool, man. I'm not. He's not breaking the game. It's just you know we're it's having fun. One, it's just one monster. Yeah, one horrible, giant, scary, meat-eating monster. So that's it for movement, right? Uh, yes. We that's have. It uh, for movement. He's your psyker. What yes. you gonna cast first? You think? Mm -hmm. We're gonna catalyst the gene stealers. Those gene stealers. Their catalyst gives them a five up. Feel no pain. Feel no pain or in, uh, ignore six. wounds. On a six. Uh, I got it on nine. Nine. So he gets it. Um, so you did get catalyst. Is he gonna cast another one? Uh, we're gonna measure. So we did some measuring, and we do have the range to horrify these terminators here, my red butchers. Uh, what do you need? Uh, I need a six. I will spend one command point to try and deny uh, this one. to deny it. The way it works is uh, here. Let's take a look at it. I'll show you. So it's called scorn of sorcery. Use this stratagem in your opponent's psychic phase. Basically, I roll a four up. I roll a d6, and if I roll a four up, the power is completely negated. So it's not like a regular deny the witch. It actually, uh, it's actually a little better. Yeah, it's kind of better. So I'll just be shutting this down on a six. No, sir. We are not terror. We're not scared of you today. And that's it for psychic phase, huh? Yes, that is it for psychic phase. All right. So I'm shooting my Tyrannofex at the Rhino with your Warlord in it. Uh, this one right here. So because I didn't move, um, he has a, he's a he's a Bio Titan, so he gets to shoot twice. Okay, so you're just gonna roll it all at once. What are you rolling? Uh, four. Okay. Uh, so your strength ten versus seven. So three. Uh, one AP one. minus three. Minus three, so I get a six up here. Failed it on a four. Damage. D6. D6. Six. Three. So this guy here will go down to seven wounds. Uh, I want to shoot my squad of warriors here. Okay. See what all the death spears can reach. So the warriors, but but the death spears can't reach, so just the heavy venom cannons, huh? Yeah. So the venom cannons are going to shoot um, um, the same tank that I've already shot. That tank there? Yep. So 3d3 three three shots for 3. Nice. No, 2 and 4. 4. So 4 shots. Uh, I was looking for 4s because I don't have a Tyranid Prime with them. And then this is strength 8. Uh, 3 ups because of versus 7. Oh man. One minus three. Minus three? I minus failed two. it. Even if it's minus two, I failed it, or minus one. So looking for D3 damage? One damage. So this guy is gonna go down to six. We'll probably shoot this guy then, huh? Yeah, that guy, he's gonna shoot, um, this is, can I, would you say that I could target the demon prince? Yeah, he's up there, bro. He's a, <laughs> we're a corn, man. He doesn't care. So, <laughs> she's a hide behind I'm his. I'm going to shoot uh, D3 shots into him with his venom cannon. For one shot. One shot. Uh, got the hit. Got it. Strength so it's three ups either way. Oh, oh no. Uh, 
I'm gonna spend a command point to reroll this. Just like that? Okay. So what are you doing? You're going from seven to six. Seven to six. Got it. Okay, there we go. This is AP minus two, looking for a five up save. He fails it. Damage is D three. Oh flat three. Ouch. So that demon prince is gonna go down to five. This hive tyrant here is gonna shoot D six shots into the terminators here. So D six shots for one shot. Oh man. The, the guns aren't even charged up yet. Nope. No hit. Now um, I'm gonna spend two CP for single-minded annihilation. Okay, so he's using single-minded annihilation. He gets to pick a Tyranid's infantry unit from his army, and it can immediately shoot again. You're gonna pick uh, the warriors there. Yep. Okie dokie. Let's uh, let's roll it out. They're gonna shoot the same target, huh? Yep. Same tank that I've been shooting. Nice. So that's three, six, seven shots. Seven shots. Venom cannon. Uh, those fail. And then this is strength eight, so this is three ups. So AP minus two. AP minus two is looking for fives. I saved two, failed two. They're what, D3? Yep. So two D3. Two D3 a piece. Three, two, three. That's going to put him down to three. Getting busted up there. All right, so what you charging, bro? So I'm going to charge the Gene Stealers into the Terminators there. Two of my Red Butchers. So we get Overwatch, huh? Yeah. So 12 Bolter shots on sixes. Hey, man. Four versus four. Got all of them. Give me some inbound saves, bro. I uh, got one. Fail three. Looking for Filmo Pains. Fail three. Fail three. So three Gene Steelers get poofed away. This is four auto cannon shots. I got one there. Uh, three ups here because of seven versus four. Got it. In bone. No. Uh, what's the damage of that? One damage. Pain? So Filmo Pain. Nope. That's one more dead gene stealer. Pull him from the back to maintain his distance. Um, but that is all my shots. You can roll your charge. Oh, I think you're in there. I can't believe that. Wow, bro. Good roll. Look at that. I'm still. Oh, look at that. Arrgh. All right, let's see where they go. So he ends up. In combat with me, um, any other charges? Uh, no. That's yeah. So this is it. This is it. <laughs> so we're gonna pile in. So yeah, piling in. So that's how he piled in. Uh, thank the blood god, he didn't get everybody in, but he did manage to get nine guys into combat. So it looks like it's gonna be thirty-six attacks. <laughs> so this is uh it's four attacks because he has more than ten dudes, right? Yes. When you have more than ten gene stealer guys, you get four attacks a piece instead of three. This is gonna be on three. No rerolls. Oh boy. So four on four is four ups. So Ooh, that is not bad. Sixes are gonna be AP minus four, which is gonna force my guys to use their invulnerable saves. Looks like he got a fair amount of sixes. And then he did get a fair amount of successes. Let's go save him. Okay, so uh, he, he's got eight AP minus ones. I'm gonna try to save these on three ups because they have base save two. So it looks like I failed three, which means one guy is gonna die. Uh, probably this guy here. And then what was it? Seven? Seven minus four. So these are going to be my invuln save. Seven five ups. Uh, I only failed two. Wow. Wicked awesome. So one guy's going to die. And then a wound's going to carry over. 
So the Red Butchers get to fight twice, and since he has no other combats, we're going to fight them back to back. Um, but I'm going to do them separately. So, um, so here we go. This is six attacks. Looking for fours because of Power Fist. They're a little bit unwieldy. Looks like we failed two. We don't get death to the False Emperor. These are two ups. I got four. These are going to be invulns. Five up saves for Gene Stealers. Wow, he saved two. They're D3 apiece and he still has feel no pain. So the first one is one damage. The second one is one damage. So two feel no pains. So just one Gene Stealer dies from that combat. I've got a uh, champion there. He gets three attacks base plus one for hateful assault. Uh, ouch, we only got two. Then this is four ups. Uh, I didn't get any there, man. Shucks. We would pile in and then we would fight again because they're red butchers. So this is six more attacks with a power fist. So the two and the threes don't hit, but those do. Two ups here. Got them all. So four, five up invulnerable saves. He got one of them, and then these are D3 apiece. So the first one is one damage, saves it. The second one is two damage. That's a dead gene stealer. And the last one is three damage. That's a dead gene stealer. So two will die there, and I will strike again with the champion. He's got to redeem himself. Because he flopped on that first combat. Four ups here. I got two on that one. So I'll need two invuln saves from you. Got one failed one. One damage. So five up. Nope. That's one more gene stealer. Looks like we're both holding strong in this combat here. I'm going to spend three CP and fight again. So Will is gonna spend three CP to use Adrenaline Surge. And he will fight once more again in this fight phase. You do get to pile in and consolidate, would you like to do that? Uh, I mean, not consolidate, but you do get to pile in. I, still, I can't get any more guys in. Sure you can, let me show you. So the way we piled in here is we move some guys over. You cannot move away, but you can still move around a base in a pile and move. So we managed to get a couple more guys into the combat here, giving him 44 attacks against my Terminators there. Look at this, this is the struggle of a Tyranids player. Your hands just aren't big enough. How do you even eat a Whopper? Ah. <laughs> now how you, pick it up, use your toes. <laughs> Four guys don't count. I wanna help him, but this is too fun. Three ups here. Shake it, shake the box. Shake that, but throw that one again. Yeah, there you go. Okay, dice fist number two. Four ups. Whew. Okay, so looking for 11 minus ones. This is gonna be three ups. Come on, guys. Uh, that looks like the squad, actually. Just with those saves. Yep, that's a dead guy. Two and two means I've lost three guys there. So we're gonna pull these guys off the table. Bye bye. And Will, do you want to consolidate these guys? Um, I'm gonna consolidate them into this. You, you have to move. He has to go closer to him. Everyone is gonna go closer to him, but they're still gonna hit this wall. Oh, that's fine, okay. We'll see how you move. So that's how he got, I kind of misunderstood him. So he's, he's hooked up against that wall trying to live on that terrain as best he can while he's not in combat. That's pretty much it, right, Will? Yep, that's it. Um, I'm gonna score one point for first strike. That is correct. One point for first strike. And these and guys are still capitalists. So you're down to one CP. You got yourself a score. Let's see if I can match you. So starting World Eaters turn one. This is kind of where we're at. Just to give you an idea, Karn must, uh, seek vengeance for his fallen red butchers and 
everybody else is pretty much just going to jet. Okay, so we moved card over a little bit. We moved these guys over here to this building and these guys to this building. Um, I moved my demon prince up, my hill brood over here, and this hill brood this way. And these guys just got out of this rhino. They're about to move, and then I'm about to move the rhino. I'm sorry, real quick, before I move this rhino here, we're going to pop this guy out, and then he's going to move also. And then we're going to move that rhino. So the rhino got there. The master of executions moved up, and we're about to advance this squad of guys three inches. So my exalted champion is going to jump out real quick and go right there, and then he's going to move. So uh, this is pretty much how I landed. I still have a squad in this one. They didn't get out, uh, but these guys kind of moved off of that building. My um, Dark Apostle moved up a little bit and they moved off of there. And this is where we're at. We have no psychic phase because uh, magic is heresy. So we'll go straight into shooting phase. Okay, jumping straight into shooting phase. I, I said I wasn't going to do it, but Karn's going to shoot these gene stealers here. Uh, I feel like just Karn would just use all his weapons all the time. Uh, his plasma gun can only be supercharged, but the way his text works, if he rolls a one, he suffers a mortal wound rather than just being completely slain. So this is going to be, I think, on a three up or a two up. Uh, that's a three, though. That's a success. It's not a one. It's <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely not a one. Just for your knowledge, Karn hits on twos. Um, and then this is strength eight, so two ups. I uh, got it on a five in bone. No, that's two damage. Hey, he survived. Unbelievable. So uh, one gene stealer had an uncanny dodge and he he dodged Karn's plasma Lightning pistol. Fast reflexes That's what cannons. it is. Lightning fast reflexes. This hill brute over here, he's gonna send his heavy flamer, his hand heavy flamer into this squad and then put his multi melta into that guy there. So he is minus one to hit. Minus one to hit. And shoot. Fast. So we're gonna go threes into fours because I moved. And then fours into fives because you're hard to hit. Got it on a six. Um, this is strength eight versus seven, right? Yes. So got it on a four, needed a three. So this is AP minus four, so invuln save. Four invuln. No. I am not within half range, so one D6. Six damage. Does he have a feel no pain? Probably not, huh? No, he didn't catalyst himself. Ouch. Well, he goes down to six there. Big ouch. And then we're gonna do the hand flamer here against the gene stealers. So D6 shots. One. Three up. Got it. Give us a save of a five up. Got it. Those gene stealers, they're toughing it out. <clears throat> Some would say disgusting yeah. too. No one would say that. <laughs> uh, this hell brute's gonna put all his weaponry into that Carnifex. He has a uh, spore cysts. Yes, he has spore cysts. So he has minus one to hit. So minus one for the range. For the health, for the uh, heavy flamer, that doesn't matter though, because it automatically hits three times. Five versus seven. Five ups, right? One. One AP minus one on your Carnifex, which I believe is a four up, right? They have a three up save, so it goes into a four up. Yes, sir. Got it on a six. Oh no! And then this is a multi melta. This is on five ups because I moved and you're hard to hit. I rolled a one, but I do have a demon prince nearby. So we get to re roll. I also still failed it though. Quit show. And then next. This squad here is going to shoot that Carnifex there with all their pistol weapons. He is minus one. They all have this one. So he's minus one to hit. So we're going to shoot all of our plasma guns. And since we're minus one to hit, we're not going to 
supercharged, yeah. Um, got all except for one. And then seven versus seven is four ups. Got them both. Two AP minus threes on the card effects. Six. Nope, it's just one damage a piece. Next is five pistols, both pistols. Uh, we get to reroll the ones here because of Demon Prince. Got them. And this is five ups, four versus seven. Uh, give me one AP zero, so three up. Got it. That one there is going to shoot that same Carnifex we just shot just to do it. Just to say we tried. We got two hits. And no wounds. We're not, we're not a shooting army. And that's proof. So that's the end of our shooting phase. We do a little damage. But here's where the real damage comes. In the charge phase, we're going to charge Karn the Betrayer into these Gene Stealers here. They don't have no guns, so we're just going to get in there. Uh, I do believe that Seven gets it. Oop. And then we're going to charge this Hell Brute into that same combat, kind of flank them. Uh, five. I think we get that, Will. Yes, definitely. So we'll just go right there. Um, now you have a lot more charges. I missed this in my, in my last one. Uh -huh. I'm not going to miss it this time. I'm going to spend my last command point for Caustic Blood. Okay, I'll let you do that now. You're supposed to wait till the fight phase, but I you, I don't want you to forget it. So we're going to do this so we don't forget it. He's using his last command point for Caustic Blood. Uh, basically, if for every guy that I kill, he rolls a dice uh, in the fight phase. He rolls a dice, and if he rolls a six, the guys who killed him suffer a mortal wound. So this could be trouble for us. Next, we're going to charge this helper here into that Carnifex. Will, he's got a heavy venom cannon, looks like. You. So you get some overwatch. So D3 shots for two shots. Nope. Nope. Here I come. Um, let's see if he's got a mouse. Okay. So he's got another gun. D3 shots. Two. Two. Oh, no. Okay, now we'll charge. Ten. Totally gets in there, but we'll measure it anyway. It looks like he gets right there, and now we're going to try to charge the Demon Prince in there. Just don't roll two ones, buddy. That was almost two ones. I, I, we have to measure that one. So the Demon Prince gets right there. He's in combat, and he's got that little objective there. Now we're going to charge these Corn Berserkers into that Carnifex. It's kind of a Hail Mary. And I know he's got some sort of mouth gun, right? He's like yes. a screamer killer. He's got a mouth gun. So, so three Overwatch. shots. Three. three shots. Nope, none of them. This is a long charge for us, but we do have a reroll because we got the icon. We're going to measure that. Let's see. So we measured it, and I was just one off, so I'm going to burn a command point for command reroll. Take this two and try to make it into lemonade. There we go. That's eight. That's exactly what we needed, right? So let's go put them where they need to go. So that's how they get in. We're going to have to pile some dudes in to get them all to fight, but that's pretty good. At least we locked them down. And that will be all of our charges. Okay, so into fight phase, we're going to go straight down the line. Uh, Karn is going to be selected to fight first. Actually, I take it back. I'm going to hit you with the helper first. Um, just in case you try to pull from him. So it's only five attacks. No, I'm sorry, six attacks. Uh, because we're world eaters, and this is on threes. No rerolls, because I'm just a little too far from Karn. And then this will be twos. Um, give me four AP inbound saves. Sorry, five ups. Save two. They're flat three apiece. Ooh, that guy barely died. And that's two, two dead dudes. That guy. And that guy. Okay, so now do I do the 
this now? Yes. So, so it's two D6s. Oh, no. So, and then now I'm going to select Karn to fight. And Karn's going to get eight attacks versus those Gene Stealers looking for twos. Um, and. Okay, so this is fun. If I had any infantry units around Karn, he would have accidentally chopped one of their heads off, but I don't. And I wish I had Death to the False Emperor against you, because that would have been a lot of attacks. This is going to be strength six, so threes. Um, oh, I'm sorry. This weapon always hits on a two-up. I'm tripping. Um, so this is five inbound saves. Save two, save two of them. So three guys are gonna take D3 damage a piece. The first one will be three damage. That's a dead guy. The second one is two damage. Ooh, he saves it. Three damage. Ooh, so two guys die there. So those are two charge fights I pick. No, no uh, caustic, caustic blood damage yet. Demon Prince over here to fight your Carnifex for the charge. So Demon Prince is going to get seven sword attacks. This is going to be on twos, rerolling ones. Got all of them. Uh, strength seven versus seven, so fours. Oops, that's a five. Um, so it looks like we got four AP minus twos. Five ups. Save, Save one. one. That's going to be three damage flat a piece. So three, six, nine damage. Oh man. Looks like we got him. Uh, now we got to wiggle him out of there somehow. We painted ourselves into a corner here. So there he goes, and Will is scolding his uh, his Carnifex for not showing up properly. But he ate some nasty attacks, so what can, what can you can't blame him. Now we'll go on to this fight over here. Uh, we'll we'll count up the attacks and see how it is. Okay, so they get four attacks a piece plus one for the champion. It's going to be four guys with axes. And then four dudes with chainswords. Let's do the axes first. Uh, looking for threes here. Rerolling ones. Twos don't hit. Reroll the ones over here. So that's a fail also. Toughness seven. Toughness seven. So five ups here. Yeah. It was too late to use any stratagems. I was six AP minus ones. Six, four. Uh, looks like I failed three. So one damage a piece. And now it's going to be 20 chain sword attacks. Looking for threes. This is going to be fives again. Ooh, not so good on that one. Three hits. Oh, three. Three damage. Um, he's dead. He's dead too. Oh, snap. Okay, so I consolidated into these guys, or I'm sorry, I consolidated into this Carnifex here, and now he's in combat, and that's all of my charge uh, combat, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my first unit to fight for the fight phase, because I get, since it's my turn, I get to pick the first unit that fights for regular fight phase, which will be Karn the Betrayer here, he's going to fight these guys, uh, these gene stealers here. Get, uh, seven attacks instead of eight because he'll still get the shock assault one. He does get to reroll ones. Got them all. And then this is three ups, right? Five, six versus four. Oof. Uh, so I only succeeded four times. Give me four in bone saves. Uh, tell them all. They're D3 apiece. So the first one is two. Dead guy. Second one is one. Dead guy. Third one is one. 
Ooh. Uh, he survived. And one. Also survived. So only two gene stealers die right there. Oh. Um, Caustic blood. Oh, Caustic blood. So I take a mortal wound. So Karna Betrayer will go from five to four. There he is. And Will's pulling his gene stealers. And then Will is going to select a unit to fight Will. I'm going to fight your guys over there. With your, with your Carnifex. Okie dokie. So we need four talent attacks. I get to reroll ones. Yeah. Reroll the one. So I was looking for fours. And then... Uh, and twos, then, right? No, it's three six. Oh, okay. So, so threes. Uh, Got them. Uh, minus threes. So sixes for me. Uh, I got one, so he does have a tail. So he gets one attack. Got it, got it. And then it's strength eight, so two, two up. ups. Got, got it. 18 minus one. Uh, four up. Failed it. Uh, I'll take this guy there. Now we're still in combat. <laughs> I was gonna shoot myself in the foot there. Okay, so now we're gonna pile these guys in real quick, just a little bit. And that's how they end up, and we'll fight with them. It looks like it's gonna be three axes and two chainsaw guys. So I know you hate me already, Will. <laughs> but I'm gonna burn Veterans of the Long War here to add one to all my wound rolls. And I'm gonna burn another command point. Stroke the nails, which means if you're not Imperium, we still get Death to the False Emperor on you. And if you are Imperium, we get Death to the False Emperor on a 5 up. They're not Imperium, but I will get Exploding Sixes here, which will let me make an additional attack. She's so <laughs> taking all my corn. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> Six attacks. Um, uh, all threes, and then I did get one death to the false emperor which doesn't make more attacks so <laughs> this is gonna be uh fives into fours so i got four of them and they're ap minus ones hey two, two. Two. it's one damage a piece so he goes down to six he's down to six all right um chainsaw <laughs> Uh, I did get one death to the false emperor. Nope. You got lucky, Will. Not, not so, so far, no. Not really. Fives into fours again. Uh, so give me two AP zero. Threes. Got them both. Got them both. Wow. Do you, do you mind if I do my one chain sword attack, Will, that I forgot no, from my champion? It's just one attack. Uh, got it on a three, four up. Didn't get it. That's what I get for forgetting. Uh, so the the Carnifex lives. I'm gonna do some piling, some piling there. So there we go. It kind of did some movement shenanigans there. Uh, looks like four guys are gonna be able to hit Karn, and the other two will probably be smacking that helper. Right, Will? Yes, sir. So which one are you gonna fight first? I'm gonna fight Karn first. Karn so first. Three. Looking for fours. So he scored two AP minus fours on his sixes. These are gonna be four up invulnerable saves. Got one failed one. That'll be a damage to Karn. And then two minus one. Two minus ones. These are also gonna be four ups. Got both of those. Karn will go from four to three. Six attacks on the hill Okay. Okay. Uh, two. two. One minus four and one minus one. So the minus four just cuts through the Hellbrood armor, and then minus one is four up save. I got that one. Uh, so he's going to go down to seven, and I'm going to roll a crazed roll. Oh, snap. 
So the hill brute's gonna go to seven, and then he gets to pile in and fight as if it was the fight phase because he, he, he goes berserk on that last hit. So it's gonna be five attacks. Um, I'm gonna measure there, I did consolidate. Maybe we can reroll ones. So I do get to reroll ones here, that's good. Uh, I got one, and then two ups here. Uh, give me three invulnerable saves from your gene stealers. Ooh, uh, three damage apiece, so demo pains. One dead guy, uh, one dead guy, uh, three dead guys all day from this squad here. Caustic blood. Caustic blood. One mortal wound. Then I get to roll crazed again. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that's the end of Korn's first turn, the World Eaters. Okay, so Will pointed out I do get to score one point because I did get first strike. And that's pretty cool. So it'll be one to one at the end of the first round. Now we'll go to turn one Megalodon. Or turn, I'm sorry, turn two Megalodon. So turn two. Nids, the start of your turn, you're going to score one for having this objective, two for having that one, and three for that one. So you will be at three, four points at the start of turn two. This is where he's at. He's kind of in combat there. Got some warriors and a big monster. And he's still got a lot of table presence. And he's about to come down maybe with some deep strike. We'll see. Turn two, Tyranid's movement. What'd you do here, Will? So we moved the warriors up some. Uh, we fell this Carnifex back out of combat uh -huh. because as a Kraken player, I can fall back and still charge. Okay. And then we moved old one eye up and we're about to advance this Hive Tyrant here. Okay. So you and get to roll, Kraken gets to roll three dice and take the highest one? Yes. So six. So the Tyrant moved up Advanced. What, 13 inches, 13 something like inches. that? And then we dropped him down from Deep Strike, right? The Fly Rent, what they call it? Yes. Okay, that's all your movement? That's all my movement. Go to Psychic Phase. Uh, we're going to start with uh, the Fly Rent, and mm -hmm. he's going to onslaught on a six. His buddy over here. Okay. Uh, I got it on a nine. What does Onslaught do again? Uh, it lets me charge even though I advanced and not suffer the penalty for shooting an assault weapon. Okay. That's what's up. And that's on him, huh? And that's on him. So he's got Onslaught and then we're going to cast then, another spell? Yeah, we're going to Synaptic Lure uh, your Hellbrew. Let's look at that. what that one does. So Synaptic Lure is the Kraken... Psychic power from Blood of Ball, and it lets me select an enemy unit and reroll charge rolls against oh, that unit. That's good. That's awesome. Okay, and uh, what do you need for that one? We need a five. All right, let's see if we can get it. Six. Got it on a six. I think I'm going to use my command point here to try to deny it. I hope you roll a three. I, I know you do. <laughs> Shut it down. Our hatred is too thick. All right, so then we'll go to the other tyrant there. This guy right here. And he's going to catalyst himself. Okay. Catalyst is the five up in a uh, feel no pain one here. And I need a six. He can ignore the wound. Yeah, you need a six here. I got an eight. Got it on an eight. I cannot deny you, because I've already done it once. So, you got that. And then, uh, you know what? We're going to try and horrify that squad. Right okay. Oh, uh, no, that fails because I needed a six. Needed a six for the horror. So, we flopped on that one. And I think that's it for psychic phase, huh? Turn two, shooting phase, Tyranids, what's uh, what's the plan? Uh, first, we're going to get my needless shots out of the way. It's four Termagants shooting at the Hellbrew. That Hellbrew right there, so through, through that little doorway. 
Got two. Uh, yeah, got two. And now I just need fives again. Yes, sir. Uh, nope. Nope. Um, and then we're gonna shoot the Tyrion of Warriors. Let's we'll get okay. to the corn circus right there. It's gonna be eighteen. All their shots. Eighteen dead spooter shots, and then. I'm gonna shoot three D3 Venom cannons at your uh, tank there. Oh, this tank? Yes. Okay. We'll do the Venom cannon first. Three D3 shots. Three, six, Ooh. eight. Nice. Eight shots. Looking for fours. So threes. Missed two. Five up. Failed it. Damage. D3. For one damage. One damage. That takes him down to nine. So this rhino here will go to nine. Spitters going in at your corn berserkers. Dead spitters. Looking for fours, right? Or yep. Threes? Fours. Fours. Four. Yes, sir. So Four. three ups. Wow, that's pretty good, bro. Mm -hmm. Seven minus ones. Uh, looking for fours. We saved all but one. Man. One damage. The blood god favors us today. So this fella here is dead. So now we're gonna shoot the Tyrannifex. Tyrannifex. So it's gonna be six rupture cannon shots at your rhino there. This one. And then it'll be eight stinger salvo shots at your corn berserkers. Try to finish that squad off. So rupture cannon. So threes. Oof. Wow. Uh, those are minus threes. Failed it, damage, D6. Six. Oh, that's where you got good. Uh, so he goes from six to three. Both of my rhinos are now at three. And then Stinger Salvo. Stinger Salvo. Nice. And then this is strength five versus four. Looking for threes. So got give two. me two nils. Two threes. Got one filled one. That's a dead corn berserker. He died doing what he loved. So this will be my last round of shots. So uh, it's gonna be this guy shooting D6 shots into those corn berserkers. Okay. So D6 shots. Three. Three. And fill one. And then this is strength seven, so three oaks. Got both uh, of them. And then this is AP minus one. Fours. Failed them both. Uh, two damage. Two dead fellows. We're gonna take this guy and this guy. And that's all the shooting. Let's see if he's got any charges. Start by charging this tyrant into the hellbrood. Well, I'm in combat, so roll some dice. Okay, Damn. I think he makes it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not good. Um, and then we're gonna charge uh, the Carnifex that fell back. Him. And back into the squad of guys using combat. To those three guys. So it looks like we got three plasma pistols for the glory of the blood god. We are supercharging this day. Oh, well, we still got them except for this one. Eight versus seven. You got Oh, you know what? <laughs> it's Overwatch. Oh, we fa we failed all of them. I don't know what I was thinking. We were too wrapped up in the glory. So yeah, roll some. <laughs> roll some. Oh yeah, he's in there. That's what I get. <laughs> That's what I get for forgetting the core walls. Nice. And then this guy's gonna charge in too. Uh, nah. 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 That other one got to. It's only three dudes. He only has to land three strikes. So. Uh, I think he can pull it off. Unless you're gonna charge the warriors in there, that same combat. No. I don't need the warriors in there. I think that one guy is gonna... He's gonna crunch those. loose. Let's hope so. He's gonna grab them with his claws. Eat them. So which, uh, so that's it for charges? Yeah, that's it for charges. So which one are you picking first? Uh, I'm gonna fight your Hellbrook first. With, uh, with that swarm, uh, that hive tyrant? Yeah. Okay. So four attacks on threes. With the lash whip and a bone sword. And what's that black dice? The black dice is a tail. Okay. Um, and I only got one. Strength 
strength six, toughness seven. So five up. Mm. Wound. Ouch. So we're gonna roll the immortal battering ram. Okay. So on a four up. On a four up, when he charges, he does mortal wounds, right? Yep. yep. Four attacks with uh, the claws. The crushing claws? The crushing claws. Okay. Because I get plus one to my hits with when you, one eye when, next to me. Oh, okay. Also, because I charge. So it'll be two of us. Yeah. Got them all. And then this is strength times two, so it should be two ups as well. Actually, hold on. Okay, so it was three ups, but we got them all, so that didn't matter. But just for future reference. So this is two ups a wound? Two ups a wound. Okay. Three. AP? Four, right? Minus three. Oh, minus three. So I need sixes to not die. I save one guy. Uh, flat. Okay, so that's my champion. I'm going to pull these guys. He can still consolidate it into me if he wants, but he doesn't have to. So over here, he's electing not to consolidate so I don't get to fight him back. Not a, not a bad idea. All right, we're going to fight with the, the gene, gene stealers. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to pile them in. So they all can fight. So they can all fight him. Nice. It's going to be three, seven, nine attacks. Nine attacks. We'll be looking for threes here, right? Yes. Two. One minus minus four and one minus one. So the minus four just cut through me. The minus one, uh, I need a four up four, and I failed that. So I'll go down to four. Uh, now I get to fight you back. I'm gonna put everything into your gene stairs. Okay. So five attacks versus the DS. Um, that's a fail. These are hits. Looking for twos. Give me two invulnerable saves. Saved one. Saved one. So these are, no, you don't get feel no pains because they don't have catalysts. So two guys just die. Um, and then I'll make my crazed roll here. So on a six, didn't get it. He doesn't go crazy this turn. But that's it for fight phase, huh? Uh, yes. Is it for fight things? So, uh, I have a morale, but I can't fail it. So, we'll pretty much just go straight into World Eater's turn two. Okay, so this is kind of where we are. You, you kind of saw it before there. I got that one lone guy. Those guys are in there. At the beginning of my turn, I'm going to score one, two, three, just like Will. And here, he's got that because he has a troop on there right now. Hopefully I can get him off of there. So I'm at four at the start of this turn. Let's see where everybody takes off to. These guys kind of shuffled around. I moved these guys up a little bit, but they're still trying to hold a anti deep strike bubble there. Shuffled around these guys a little bit. Karn the Betrayer moved up to help with that combat there. Um, he also moved up to help and maybe charge him. And these guys moved up to claim this objective. I popped out of the van here, and I'm about to move um, my rhino there. And I probably will move those guys too once I've moved the rhino. Also, I moved this rhino up and trailed behind these fellas. And he moved up a little bit too. So let's, uh, I'm gonna advance that rhino though, because he only moved six right now. So. That'll give us 10 all day. All right, so these guys kind of shuffled around. That's where the van got. And now I moved my demon prince on the other side of this wall here to go challenge old one eye. And I poked my <laughs> hell brute looking through the window there or the door. But that's the end of my movement. And after that, we'll go straight into shooting Okay, so we talked it out, and Will said I could come through that door if, if I have to, you know, but, but if I'm going to come through that door, Will said it's okay because I let him come through with a Carnifex, so we try to be fair, you know, it's a give and take when you play this game. I guess I'm going to start, 
I guess I'm gonna see if Karn can shoot first. So I, I measured it, Karn can shoot this year Flyrant. So he's gonna take his one shot. Uh, that's a hit, right? Unless you're hard to hit or something, you're not hard to hit? not hard to hit. So eight versus seven, right? Or yes. six or whatever, got it. AP minus three, so I need a four up in vulnerable save. He saves it, no big deal. He ain't tripping. Uh, nobody can be shot at over here because they're all in combat. That hell brute that's looking through the door is gonna shoot old one eye. The first thing is a heavy flamer. Two shots, less than optimal. Five ups. Uh, I got one, AP minus one. Got it. Got it. And then this is a multi melter. Got it. Eight versus eight. Eight. So four ups. Got that. AP minus four. Uh, he has a three up save. So no invone, huh? No invone. But he does have feel no pains, right? Uh, if I do cut right through you, it's two dice taking a high one. So either way, that's going to be six. So he does not ignore wounds, so he's gonna take six damage and go down to what? Two or four? Three. You go down to three. Corn Berserker Champion is going to shoot supercharged plasma at this guy. Actually, I'm gonna shoot it at those guys right there. Um, supercharged plasma shot, got it on a six. All right. Yes. Two's got it on a four. AP minus three, which is the only thing that can mod you at all. So it goes right through, huh? Two damage. I don't think that kills a guy though, because they're three wounds apiece. Go down to one. Tink. Uh, I'm, if it's okay with you, Will, I'm gonna spam my um, rhinos there against your warriors. Yeah. So it's only six shots. Looking for fours and this is four on four um so two that's your dice two ap nothing yeah. got both of my got saves. both of them they don't care uh, and then that's all my shooting you know because we're world eaters and we'd rather chop stuff up well, that's it for shooting phase we'll take you on to charge okay so charge phase he's gonna charge that one lone gene stealer Yep, there he is. Then he's gonna charge this guy right here. <laughs> I think I'm in there, huh, Will? Yeah. So we're just gonna pick him up and move him right there. And I'm gonna charge his buddies who are actually separate units. And I'm only doing it so they can keep up with him. I'm gonna have to measure that one. After I did that, I reminded myself that I completely forgot prayers this round, but that's okay. First, my Master of Execution is going to charge this unit here. Despitters. Despitter shots. Uh-oh. Train five? Yep. Looking for threes. Oh, boy. Three me. Four ups for me. Uh, I think I saved all but one. Yeah. So one damage. One damage. What and gun is this, Will? The Venom Cannons. So D3. three D3 shots. For two, four, four shots, and we're looking for sixes here. None. Whew. So he only took one damage out of all that. That's gonna put him down to three. <laughs> so this guy goes down to three, and now we're gonna try to roll his charge. See what we get here. <laughs> uh, nope. Next, we're gonna charge this hell brute into old one eye. I'm sorry old one eye. That's uh, super there. Yeah, he's here. we'll show you where he goes. So that's where he got. Next I'm declaring the Demon Prince to charge this massive squad of dudes. Will is going to tabulate the Overwatch. So we found out it's what, 30? 20? Yeah, 26 shots out of 30. 26 shots. This is going to hurt. Go sixes. Pull that one again. Oh, three. 
Come on, fives. Oh! <laughs> What's the. No AP, huh? No AP. So. Threes. Hey, he failed too. Good job, little bugs. <laughs> Good job. Takes him down to three. Here we go. I got it on an eight. He has to go like this. He's going to charge. He's going to charge old winner. <laughs> Uh, I lied to you. No. Yeah, he's gonna charge old one eye because he's not gonna kill that dude by himself. <laughs> so I don't know if I got it. Let's 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 measure it. So he does get it, and he manages not to be too close to the other guy and just gets slain. So that's lucky. Um, and and that is it. That is all the charges. We will go to the fighting. So, going into the fight phase, we're gonna start with Karn. Uh, looking for twos, re-rolling ones. Got him. Actually, wait, I don't think I can re-roll ones in the hit with Karn. Let's check. So I apologize, I do not get those re-rolls here. Um, they actually, when he's fighting, they auto-fails. And uh, in fact, if I am within an inch, which we did, we both put our heads together and measured here, and I was hair I was a toad's hair <laughs> outside of an inch right there so that means uh, he doesn't do mortal wounds but if he was close he would have damaged his own friendly um, and then this is five six versus four so threes uh, twos do not hit that's gonna be five in bone saves from the lone gene stealer dodge lift dodge right buddy do a barrel roll he, he tried he did he and that's it, we're gonna consolidate with Karn now. Karn will get right here. And that's it for his first fight. Then we'll go to that Dark Apostle and he will fight the uh, Hive Tyrant there. Maybe I'll survive this year. You might. Uh, Dark Apostle, he's got five attacks. Uh, he's actually got three attacks base, plus one for Shock Assault, plus one for uh, Butcher's Nails. Looking for twos, re-rolling ones because Karn is Actually, Karn's buff, I think, is on a three up. So I'm probably too far there. Um, this is fives. Got two, AP minus one. Uh, filled, filled one. Two damage, flat. So he will go down to, oh, he's got feeling pain, that's right. Oh, he saved them both. Catalyst saves his hide. Uh, okay, so I'm done there. Uh, I'm gonna go over here to the Hell Brutes, and he's gonna fight poor old One Eye. I'm powering it. Uh, ooh, that's no good. Twos do not hit. So this is three ups because of 12 versus seven. Got them all. These are AP minus threes. So sixes. Four dice don't count. Oh no. Does he have frenzy death throws? Poor old one eye gets much, much less. And then I will consolidate. So he's going to consolidate right here. And then this guy, I can choose him to fight because he did charge. He doesn't have an eligible target. He can still pile in though. So he's going to pile into here. Then he's going to be done because he cannot choose him to fight in his charge fight. Um, and then we'll go to the demon prince who charged these fellas here. And we'll fight them. All right, so it's seven attacks base. Looking for twos, re-rolling ones. And then on the wounds, we'll be looking for twos. Oh boy. So I think that's just four dead dudes, right? Just pop, pop, pop. And then I'm gonna smack you once with my claws, my malefic talons. Uh, this is also a two up and I failed it on a one. Those little bugs got lucky, man. That's it for that fight. That is all my charge. And I'm gonna choose one to fight for the turn, as it is my turn. Man, it's either that there, because he can choose him now to fight for his second attack, or it's Karn here. Is that your warlord, that guy? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm sorry, Will, but I'm picking Karn. He's gonna pile in 
and fight your dude there. Let's pile in and see if we can legally do it first. Okay, so Karn gets right there. He doesn't get uh, Butcher's Nails attack, but he does still get Shock Assault. This is going to be on twos, rerolling ones. I'm, you're, you're absolutely right. I'm so sorry. He does not reroll ones. And I actually am within an inch this time, like I know I am. So he will take a mortal wound because Karn rolled a uh, one there, unfortunately. And then Karn's going to go five, six versus seven, right? Yes. So five ups. Uh, give me two AP somethings. I got oh my gosh, yes, you did get those. That's good. Uh, so Karn is done, then you get to select a unit to fight um, for the fight phase. I'm going to select my Tyrant. So he's got four attacks and a tail attack. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do two into the Dark Apostle. Uh -huh. the one being the tail, and then the rest into the other. Okay. Two into the Dark Apostle with one tail. Uh, I got them both. Six. I failed both of those. And then three attacks into the Hellbury. And uh, I got one. Got one. AP minus two. So five up. Didn't get it. Damage. Uh, don't kill me. So, so flat three damage. Flat three damage. Just blows up my Hellbrute. Let's see if he, he does explode. Uh, it's on a six, right? Yes. Yeah. So, no, he does not explode, and my hill brute goes bye-bye before he even gets to attack, unfortunately. So that's it. He, he got my hill brutes. Uh, over here, we're going to fight that one corn berserker versus uh, that carnifex. It's five attacks all day. Looking for threes. And then five ups here. Give me three AP minus ones. Oops. Oh, oh, three damage. Puts that hell brute down to three. And then the hell brute will fight us back. It's not a hell brute. I'm He's sorry. You're right. He is a carnifex. He wishes he was a hell brute. Four talent attacks. Uh -huh. And then one tail. Okay. Uh, I got him. And then uh, two. Uh, this is AP minus one, and so this is four AP up. minus three. He's dead. Boop. And then you can consolidate him if you choose. I'm gonna leave him there. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. You can pile in too. So let's see where you go. So that's how they bubble wrapped me. They are stopping me with their very bodies from getting that objective. 15 attacks, hitting on fours. So, and then this is strength three, so I think this is sixes. Hmm, AP, huh? Nope. We almost failed it. Oh, we got it though. So he's still alive, although very distracted. He's got dudes covering him like a uh, ants. Like he's strangling all over <laughs> He stepped on an ant pile there, and now he's in trouble. So that's it. Um, we're gonna go to round three, right? Turn it's turn three. Oh, first you're gonna score, right? Oh, uh, yes. So you contested over here. Contested there, so I'm gonna score two points. One, two, yeah. You still got that because you got troops and I'm not even in it. I couldn't get in there. there. Yeah. I, I blocked that off. That's blob power, man. Mob rule. So two, that puts you to six, right? Yeah, it puts me up to six. Nice. And this is kind of where he is before he moves. He does have uh, two more units in Deep Strike, so we'll see if they come up. It looks bad, but it's not as bad as it looks. It's not terrible. All right, Will, what'd you do here? So, came up with my last Deep Strike, my Trigon Prime and my Pyrovores to try and combat this Hill Brute. I moved my fly rig over here to try and oh, yeah. deal Whoa. with these corn berserkers. You got way in there. Try to deny me some points. If you can kill um, those dudes. And then hopefully I can make some stuff explode. Oh no. And cause some more shenanigans here. Oh boy. Alright. That's pretty. This is pretty intense now. So that's it for movement? That's 
it for movement. I'm going to go into the psychic phase. So I'm going to start with my warlord, and he's going to try and horrify uh, Karn on a six. Uh, oh! That's the perils of the warp. Okay. So, D3 only. Uh, I'll let you roll it. You want me to roll it? Man, that's cool. Um, two. I'll meet you halfway. Ticks me down to four. And then, but his spell does work. Yes. So you hoard. I horrify uh, Karn. Him. So now Karn is minus one in their hit rolls, and he is also minus one to his leadership. His leadership. <laughs> you know. Um, so. And then I'm gonna try and catalyst uh, this five times. Okay. So this guy's gonna buff that one. Yes. Uh, got, got it. That on the seven. Yep. So he will have a five up ignore wounds. Um, and then the tyrant, is he going to cast a spell? He is going to cast a spell. So he is going to try and synaptic lure. We're going to pick this hell group. Do you right? have range on it? Because um, it is 12, right? Let's check. That is such an awesome power. So he really doesn't need... There's there's no range on it. It just says pick a unit on the table. So I'm going to pick this hill group. Okay, cool. And what I, do need you need? A, I need a five. I got a five. I can't stop you. We <coughs> used all our CP. So he will have the curse. And Synaptic linchpin. And then I'm going to try and smite you. Unit of corn berserkers. The corn berserkers, okay. So uh, I got it on a six. Got it on a six. D three. Two. Two. So we're gonna take these two fellas. And that's it for psychic phase, huh? That's it for psychic phase, but we'll go into shooting. Alright. Alright, you're in the shooting phase. So we're gonna start with the Tyranno fix. And he's going to shoot his rupture cannon into the front tank there. Oh, that one there? Yes, sir. And then he's going to shoot his stinger salvo at the hellbrute here. Okay. So it's going to be six shots from the rupture cannon. The strength 10, so three ups. Um, this is on the, this is on the, the squat. Tank. Oh, the, the tank, so six up. Oh, we got it. Eight shots at the hill group. Nice. Six is. And then strength five. Five ups. And Ouch. Get none. All right, now we're going to shoot the hill group with the pyro boards. So these guys that just came out of the tunnels are going to shoot the hill group with their flamers. Yes. Auto hit. So 3d6. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm, that's no good. Ten AP minus ones. Strength five, so five ups. Oh, six. Yikes. We don't like that. Four ups. Uh, looks like he's going to take two damage. To six. He's going to shoot his 12 shots at the tank there. The Which one? The one on the left or the right? Uh, this one right here. What you need on these? Uh, I think I need fours. Ooh, that's, they're strength five, right? Yes, these are strength five. So we're looking for five up here. Just trying to cause a chain reaction here. Uh, get three. Three. AP. Nope. No Threes. Uh, we failed one. Three to two. And you're going to shoot these guys? Yeah, we're going to shoot those guys. Um, we're going to shoot the, the Venom Cannons into the tank there. Uh -huh. And then we're going to shoot all the Death Spitters into this guy right here. The Dread, uh, the Hell Group. Venom Cannons first. The D3 for Venom Cannons. Three, four, five. Ooh. This is at my tank. This is at your tank, needing fours. So I got two. This is strength eight, so threes. threes. Oh no. And then 15 shots at your Hell Group there. Go for fours. Got some. It's fives. Five. Uh, this is on my health group, so looking for fives. Oh, oh man, Will. Not doing good today. 
That's what came in. Humans are upset with me. They're not, they don't want to Yeah, they're, they're jealous, man. They're not showing up. What about this Carnifex here? Yeah. Does he have a he's shout? Got, he's got a gun. He's going to try and sh shoot that uh, tank on two wounds there. Got the B3 shots. Two shots. Okay. Uh, I got one. Uh-oh. And then this is string seven. So, so three, uh, fours? Nope. Mm. So that's it for shooting then, huh? Yep, that's it for shooting, bud. Okay, but that's okay. Tyranids shine in the fight phase. So you're gonna charge who first? I'm gonna charge the Trigon Prime first into, into the Hellbrute. Yes. Um, I have a gun. Overwatch. We we has gun. Nope. Um, yeah. So come get us. So he's got a green glands. So plus, plus one. one. Um, that's a fail, but I snapped a glue. That's game. right. So, so get three re -roll. re roll. Nice. So six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine for adrenal glands. Yes. I don't like it. Uh, Carnifex. Okay. He's going to scream his way through that tank, this tank, uh -huh. this tank, and these guys right here. Um, if you do that, you probably have to charge him too. Yes. I'm just saying. Uh, I don't even think they have a gun, but we'll we'll see what the Overwatch ends up being. So we don't have any rerolls, but we're gonna risk it because we're crazy and we're berserkers. So uh, supercharging plasma here. Okay, so that's a dead man. That was a, that was a one. So that's a dead man. This is a um, this is a hit. No, that's not a hit. So we got one guy who dies, and then these are pistols. Mm, hey, we got one. Uh, five up. Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah. Three up. Got it. They're done. And then the Master of Executions there, I am going to remove a guy. But the Master of Executions there is going to throw a crack grenade. Nope. We're going to take this guy off the table. That's right, a plasma pistol. Yeah. I'm gonna spam the overwatch from the yeah because it's literally just the same guns the same thing and I didn't hit any of them now you can charge sir snake eyes that still gets you into combat however my poor master of executions this tyrant here is gonna Gonna charge these corn berserkers. The berserkers, okay. So all pistols, all the time. Nope. Roll it. Ooh, uh, let's measure it. So he does get into combat with adrenal glands. It gave him four inches, which was more than enough to get in. So that's uh, that's it, huh? For charging? Uh, yeah. Okay. So who's fighting first? I'm gonna start with the Trigon Prime. Trigon Prime versus Hellbrute. Ready, fight! So, or, or to follow, you know. So Trigon Prime, he's got six attack base, plus one for Scything Talons. So re-rolling ones because of Scything Talons. And he hits on threes, right? Yes. Seven. A T7, so four ups. Oh no! Uh, so give me three AP minus threes. Sixes. Not a single one. Damage, D6, uh, D6. right? D6. Oh, no. So roll them all. Oh, boy. That one. That's the one that kills me. So, yeah, he's at six. We're going to roll for explodes. Come on, blow up. No. <laughs> it will. So he gets right there after, dist after obliterating my hill brute. What's next, Will? Next, we're gonna pick the Carnifex to fight. But so, I think now, can I attack him? Um, because I declared him as a charge. I think so, yeah. So he ended up piling in to that guy in the end and managed to lock him down for the fight phase. Uh, we looked it up and he can totally charge. I mean, he can totally attack that guy, but we do have to back it up a little bit, right? We do. I have to immortal battering ram on the guy that I made.
made it into combat though. So initially he charged the executioner there and um, at the end he's supposed to roll for every guy he gets in a contact with. So this is his, us doing that. On a four up. I got it, so he just suffers one mortal wound. So executioner here will go from three to two as he takes a mortal wound from the carnifex ramming into him. And he gets four attacks. Um, I'm gonna use the talons. Two attacks from the talons into the executioner and then two into that rhino there. Yes, and then I also have one tail attack that is gonna go into the rhino. Okay. So. Two attacks into the guy. Yes, sir. Uh, Ooh. They're reroll ones. Yeah. Uh, I still Ooh. failed. Okay. Um, we tried. Hold on. I get plus one for for charging. Okay, so then... So the three hit. That, okay. Uh, and then I didn't move. No. And then two, uh, two talent attacks into the rhino. Uh, I got, got one. one. And then... Got, got it. AP three, right? Yes, AP three. Six. No. Uh, um, three damage. Flat three. Does it explode? No. I was looking for a kabooey. And then I guess we're going here now. So this is my last charge. Four attacks. Gonna do it with uh, sighting talons instead of the sword. Um, three rolling ones. No, this is strength. Six, so three. Three ups. Got them all. AP minus three. AP minus three. Looking for sixes. Got one, um, but two guys are going to die. Well, we're going to take these two fellas. We got one tail attack coming. Uh, got the hit. And then this is strength six, so three up. No. So then you get to choose to fight for the turn. Do you want to fight here or here? Uh, I'm going to fight here. Okay. And then I'm going to put my tail into Karn. Okay. So two and two and a tail into Karn. This is into the Dark Apostle. Okay. I uh, got them both. And then T4. I got one wound. AP minus two. I think he has a four of end bone. We'll look it up. I rolled a five. Let's check it out. Uh, actually, if it's AP minus two, I still got a five up. So that works. Um, and then two attacks into Karn. Uh, I got one. And I mm. filled the wound. Karn's behind him. Tail attack. Got, got it. Hit. Uh, no, no wound. Oh no. Oh no. That's my turn to choose a fighter? Yes. Okay, uh, I'm going to pick... I guess it really don't matter. Um, so I guess for fun, I'm going to pick the Executioner over here, and he's going to fight the um, Carnifex there. Okay, we're learning. We're learning some stuff. So I just looked at my data sheet here, and I realized that I was completely playing that guy wrong. So his Relic gives him a 5 plus Ignore Wounds, and I hadn't been utilizing it. Um, I'm still going to run it, though, from here on out, So because his weapon... I don't know, I kind of feel like his other weapon is better. I shouldn't have taken this relic. Although it does give him a five up feel no pain. The other weapon is strength times two, AP minus three, D3 damage. And then if he rolls sixes, it's mortal wounds. So that's pretty nasty. Whereas this one does not do mortal wounds. Although it does have a, a, a flat two damage characteristic, which is one, something I favor as opposed to a D3, because you just know you're getting the mean every time. Yeah, two um, is always mean. I still, no, I mean like the mean, the, the median oh. number, the, the mathematical terms. Uh, <laughs> um, and this one's only AP minus two, but I'm gonna, I picked it. Uh, I don't know why, but I picked it. <laughs> so we're gonna roll with it. Um, this is weapon skill two. It's not unwieldy or anything. So this is on twos, no re-rolls, got them all, no, this is strength five, so we're looking for fives, right Will? Yes, T6. Uh, I got one five, but he's gonna have to make one AP minus two here. Oh, nope. uh, that's just flat two damage. Pretty nasty, he goes from three to two, or three to one. Okay, so you're so gonna, I'm gonna fight. pile in again. All right, let's all right. see how he piles in. 
So that's how they piled in. He got some extra attacks in there. Looks like it's 20 dudes and each guy hits once. So 20 attacks. You need fours? Yeah. Uh, sixes? Give me one. <laughs> uh, three up. <laughs> he got it. Uh, now I'm gonna fight you back. Okay. Yeah, they're they're pretty much all the same. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So j just so y'all know, though, uh, it's I wasn't charged, so I don't get chalk assault or butcher's nails. So it's five attacks base, and then he gets one with his claw hand. Uh, but Will's gonna have me roll them all together because uh, they're only one wound a piece. It's all the same uh, to these poor guys. Uh, got them all. That's two ups again. Got them all. That's gonna be six dead guns. But it means nothing to the Legion of Nids. And then next, I'll probably fight him here because he's all out of attacks. You know, because he also didn't charge or was not charged this turn. Uh, these are auto fails, and he's not within an inch, so he doesn't slaughter one of his own. Uh, this is five, six versus seven, so five ups. Uh, oh no, give me one AP minus four. So four up. Failed it. D3 damage. One, <laughs> one damage Karn does. But wait, Karn gets to fight again. Um, so threes don't hit. Only fours. Or it's twos in the threes. So threes do hit, yeah. And then this is gonna be five ups. So four inbone saves. Save two. Two D3s. Uh, four. Does he explode? Or death throws? It's, it's on a six. It's Why do I always six. think it's on a one? I wish it was on a one. <sighs> so he goes bye bye. Karn's gonna stay there. Uh, did I fight you here? Uh, no. No. So it's a champion, and I was charged. And a regular guy, and I was charged. On threes. No rerolls. Uh, this is. Fives? No to these. Give me one. AP minus one. Wow. One damage. damage. Feel no pain. Five up. Nope. No. So Just one damage. 12 to 11. 12 to 11. I think that's it for fighting. Um, did I kill your warlord? You did. Uh, what does that put me at? Uh, that puts you from four to five. Five? Okay. I think that's right, because we were tied at the start of this turn, and I went up to six. For only yeah, you're right. So I'll go to five, and then that's the end of the turn. I will, I guess, let's see, I lost three dudes. I lost three dudes there. If I roll a six, it's a nine. I could lose a guy, so we're going to take a morale here. Uh, no, we pass. And that's pretty much it for Tyranids turn three. We'll go to World Eaters turn three. Kicking off the turn, we're gonna go straight to scoring. I'm gonna get one, two, three, four points, which will put me to nine. Um, and then <laughs> it's uh, we are good at claiming territory. It is what we were chosen for. Uh, so this is kind of where we are right now. We don't have no deep strike. Uh, we just gotta work with what we got. We'll see what we do after movement phase. So with my movement here, what I've done was I moved my last tank up in his face over here. I've got my corn berserkers moved into the forest and my exalted champion wrapped around. These guys came off the objective and uh, my characters moved over to engage that tyrant. Uh, I know it sounds crazy because I'm moving off of a bunch of object objectives, but I've got a bunch of guys I'm fixing to advance, so hopefully they can land on those objectives. Starting with these guys, we're gonna advance. 
uh, three. That gets us nine. Hopefully we get on an objective over there. Okay, so I got where I needed to go, and then these fellas here are gonna advance. Hopefully we can land on this objective here. Taking some risks here. Uh, six, I think we'll get it moving 12. Let's see. So they got right there, and then we're gonna advance these fellas over here and try to get on top of that objective. We didn't quite make it here, but I don't think we ever were. I rolled the max, and we still didn't make it, so. Uh, there we got two, which will give us eight. Hopefully that'll give us enough over here. So, man, I guess you're gonna see I made a couple mistakes. Like, I probably could have daisy-chained these guys, even with my failure in the advance roll. I could have stayed on this objective, and that was a big mistake. Um, but you know what? I, I'm pretty confident in my lead right now. Will's, like, worried about me tabling him right now, so... But I am on two objectives here so either way next turn unless he gets me off of these objectives i'll still at least score those so i'm not totally i didn't really totally mess myself over but i think that's all of my movements i'm gonna leave the demon prince uh, in combat there yeah so that's pretty much it we'll go to shooting phase uh so in the shooting phase not a lot of shots here we're basically gonna shoot all these guys into this squad here and that's pretty much all of my shots so i'm gonna do the most complex which is this squad and then we'll shoot this and this all at that squad uh, in case you're wondering this looks like two plasma guns and then the rest are bolt through um or not on your carnifex on your warriors there yeah so two supercharged plasma shots uh, got one and then I rolled a one so a guy will suicide himself and then this is two <laughs> uh, nope <laughs> uh, this is five bolt gun bolt, uh, pistol shots uh, let's see that's not a hit and then four versus four none of them we're just not good at shooting one plasma gun shot not supercharged by the exalted champion got it three up <laughs> didn't get it uh and then four combi bolter shots from the rhino uh looking for fives because he's injured very badly uh got the not got the wound so no <laughs> charging i mean a uh, shooting phase failure <laughs> uh charge is where we shine though you'll see <laughs> So one guy gets blown up because his plasma gun overheats. So we're gonna do charges now. This rhino's gonna charge the squad first. 18 death scooter shots. Oh no. Got three. Uh, one minus one. Come on, four up. Got it. E venom cannons. Three, six, seven. I got one. And then this is strength eight. Uh, three up. Got it. AP minus two. AP minus two. Uh, five up. No. Damage. Three damage. Roll a one. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> so he goes to one. I'm so sorry, Will. <laughs> Hey, but remember, those guys, they have that uh, symbiosis or whatever, biology. Adaptive physiology. Adaptive physiology. I can't really feel this. Uh, got it on a seven. So he's going to go pink and get those guys into combat. Next, we're going to charge the, the um, berserkers. <laughs> Eleven. So that's how... They charged in to these guys. They could still survive because they ignore all of my AP uh, from my chain axes. So we'll see what happens here. Um, I'm going to leave him here because I'm trying to maintain my warlord alive. So I don't want to offer up any attacks and he is buffing these guys. Over here, I'm going to charge the Carnifex so these guys can help out the executioner there. Watch. I uh, got it on a four. So yeah, that's how they got over there. 
Now I'm just gonna charge these two characters and they're locked in combat with, or that, that tyrant's in combat right now. So first it's gonna be Karn. Uh, he gets it with a four. Cause he only needed like three inches. And then now it's the Dark Apostle. Uh, yes, he also gets it with three cause he was about two and a half inches away. So he's in there. And that's all my charges. And now we will go to fight phase. Jumping, uh, jumping straight into the fight phase. Karn is gonna put his eight attacks into that tyrant. Yes, Karn is still minus one. Looking for threes. But yeah, we looked it up. I got these twos turned into ones. So unfortunately, um, he's gonna let's let's do some measurements too. So we did some measuring and he's too far from this guy, but he will axe murder this disciple and he just gets munched in the wake of his axe swinging. That poor disciple got in the way of all his axe swings. This is six versus seven, right? Yes. So looking for fives. They're gonna be AP minus fours, so in bone. Whoops. Got one, failed one. D3 damage. Three damage. Still no pain. Save, save one. one. So he only takes two damage. He's gonna go from 11 to nine. Now we're gonna fight the Dark Apostle. This is on twos, re-rolling ones because of Karn. Got them all. It's five ups. Give me three AP minus ones. Four. No, he has no, base three. three. Yeah. So, so he takes one, two damage. Five up catalyst save. No. So he will go down to seven. Um, these guys are going to fight the warriors right here. It's going to be uh, one, two, four axe attacks, two chain swords. The leader in that group is a chain sword guy. So that's a thing to note. So 16 attacks from the axe guys. Looking for threes. E strength five uh, versus four, so threes. Three roll and fail wounds. Um, I'm gonna re-roll this one. Got them all. Looking for 12 four ups from Will. Cause he ignores my AP. Oh, wow, that's pretty good, Will. One just kills guys. Three kills another guy, and then one guy's at two. And then we have chainsword attacks, which is only two dudes. Okay, chainswords, looking for threes. Oh no, that's bad. This, this is threes. <laughs> Rerolling all the fails, but I didn't need to. Give me four AP zero. So, two. so one guy dies. And we're gonna smack you with our tank. <laughs> so this is for all the tank glory. Two attacks for the tank into those warriors. Um, <laughs> uh, looking for sixes. So no. That was fun. Uh, then this squad here is all gonna attack that Carnifex there. Twelve chain attacks. Seven. Five ups. Give me three. Minus ones. Yes, sir. Four ups. Fill two. Two. So take, uh, oh, he's dead. Three. Yeah, he's at one, I think. Man. Hmm. So that's it for those guys. The axe guy doesn't get to fight. Uh, I get one. I get to pick a unit to fight for the fight phase uh, for my turn. And I'm I really tempted to pick Karn first. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna pick Karn first. And this time he'll only get seven attacks, just seven. Uh, looking for threes. <laughs> and then fives. Give me one AP minus four. D3 damage, one, Ca uh, catalyst, no, 
So he goes down to six. Still in this though. Uh, then you get to pick a unit to fight. Uh, I'll fight with my warriors. The warriors over there, you can pile them in real quick. So that's where the warriors end up. Looks like he's gonna try to put all the attacks into the uh, berserkers there. So, 15 siding talent attacks. Looking for threes, right? Looking for threes, rerolling the ones. Nice. And then this is four versus four. Four ups. So, so looking for six three ups on my berserkers. Two guys die. Then it's three rending claws. Oof. Nope. Ouch. So this guy's dead. And this guy's dead. So now I'm choosing a fight. I'm gonna pick these two fellas right here. They're gonna try to fight that fly rent. Five chain axe attacks all day. Uh, two's don't hit. Five ups. Got two AP minus one. He <laughs> got them both. Uh, the, he will go to. F oh, feel no pains. That's right. No. It's like the fly rent goes down to four. Picking away at it. You're going to choose a fight, Will? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to fight your two berserkers that just fought me. That's smart. So, four attacks. Uh, Reroll the one. Uh, yeah, with the talons. Nope. Uh, Got two him. minus threes. Six is for me. Not a single one. Got that one over me. I was trying to keep it. This is my last fight. Uh, five attacks and then plus one for his talons. Trying to whittle away at these little guys here. Two of them. ones. No, never. Looks like six dead guys. You get off that objective. Six guys, and then he's gonna fight me back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attacks. Eight attacks. Okay. Give me one. One. Oh, <laughs> I failed it. Take a damage. <laughs> so he goes from three to two. Ouch. Finally. That's it, right? Uh, yeah. We everybody fought who could fought. We can't. Oh, actually, I do get to pick those guys to fight a second time. No. Yes, I do. Well, this isn't good for morale. I took my leader off the table over there, so. I will have a nasty attacks, but uh, we're probably we could run away if we don't if we fail our morale. So looking for threes here, and we're looking for five, uh, threes again. Rerolling all fails because of the exalted champion. So it looks like I got all of them. That's eight AP nothings because you're invulnerable. So one goes through. <laughs> That's pretty good, bro. Does that kill a guy or just puts a wound on him? Puts nope. a guy down to two. Puts a guy down to two. Tyranids turn four? Yeah, we're going to go to Tyranids turn four. See what Will can do. So starting the turn off, Will's going to score one here. He did get this one from me, so that's two. And that'll be three there. Just put me up to nine. Putting him up to nine, which is tied with me. So it's not over yet. And then he's going to move around a bit. So let's see. So that's the end of movement. What you did, man? Uh, I fell back out of combat on my, with my warriors over there. Okay. And being that you're cracking, you can still charge. I can fall back and still charge. I see you um, move these fellas up. Move those fellas up. The uh, pyrovores there, they advanced. Okay. But they have assault uh, weapons. They have assault weapons. They have flamethrowers. We stayed in um, combat. Stayed in combat here. Stayed in combat there. 
Still haven't moved my big beastie back there. So now we're going to psychic phase. Yeah. So you're gonna pick him and smite Karn. Yep. Uh, I got it. Got it. D three. Oh no! Karn is dead. That was nasty. He's got one more power. Yeah. I'm so I will synaptic lure that blob of corn berserkers there. Okay. Make sure and you get I your got charge. That. I got that. So I can't deny it. And Catalyst is gone, right? Uh, yes, Catalyst is gone. Horror is gone. That's it for Psychic Phase. Let's see how Shooting Phase goes. Start. We're going to start with the Pyrovores. And we're going to shoot three D3 Flamer shots into the squad of Corn Berserkers. These guys right here? Yes. So six, nine, ten. Strength five, so threes. For six minus ones on your corn berserkers. So for fours, uh, saved all of them except for one. You're gonna do the the prime there. Twelve shots into the corn berserkers. Well, that's terrible. Mm. It's not that bad because you get threes here. So threes, and then uh, AP one, right? Uh, no, these are not AP one. AP zero. So threes, I failed one. So you still killed a guy. Uh, we'll take this guy. Which is this? So the big monster, what's he shooting at? So he's gonna, he's gonna shoot eight shots into these guys. Uh huh. And six shots from the rupture cannon into those guys. The into, big thing. Into the tank. Okay. So six rupture cannons. Uh, got four, huh? Four, and then this is threes. Three minus threes on the tank. Sixes. Not a single one. So it's D6, but he's at one. Does he explode? No. Kablooey. Six shots into those guys. Got three, and then this is threes because you're five, so two minus ones. That's all you needed. Fours failed both of them. That is the squad. So that's it for shooting, Will. That's it for shooting. Okay, where are you charging? Uh, my warriors that fell back are gonna charge your warlord here. Okay, um, supercharged plasma pistol. Nope, charge. Oh man, I don't know. We have to get the ruler out. Hold on, we'll be back. Except to be eaten alive. Well, we measured it with his 11. He barely made it in there. Just only barely. But he's in there. I guess I'll give it to him. I, you, you got to. I guess. Um, he's going to get eaten. Uh, you're, uh, you're lucky I'm such a benevolent opponent and I let you have that there. So, uh, more charges? Yes, more charges. Uh, my prime here is going to multi-charge these two units. Okay, so executioner, throw in a crack grenade. Nope. Two plasma pistols supercharged. That's a dead guy. So, this guy dies from plasma overheating. Five pistol shots, or four pistol shots. Got one. Um, five up, right? Yes. Didn't get it. Roll your charge, sir. And they get to re-roll. I don't see why he would fail that, though. Puts him right there. Any other charges? Uh, no. He's already in combat, and they advanced. And they're in, and combat. They're in combat. So pick your fight first, sir. Uh, and I'm going to try and crunch your your All right, let's go. 15 Scything Talon attacks. Three rolling ones. Oh no. Looks pretty good. That's a fail. And those are fails. He's all hit. Yes, sir. Four versus four. Four up. AP zero. AP zero. Threes. He failed two of them. One damage. One damage apiece puts him down to two. So then it's three rending claws. Yes, sir. Uh, I got one. 
no wound. No, no wound. Oh, I'm lucky. Big monster guy. Uh, yeah. So he's got six attacks plus one for a sighting challenge. Two rolling ones. Two is fail. This is, uh, this is all against the corn berserkers. So threes? Or what? Is Sixes! Don't die, guys! Nope, five of them are dead, which is actually the rest of the squad. So we're gonna take these guys off the table. And then I get to fight. You get to fight there. first there. All that's left is the Dark Apostle. So four attacks. Uh, one. And then this is threes. Uh, so give me two minus threes. Um, he's got a four up in bone save. But he fails him. Damage? Yeah, that's a flat three. Poof, he's super dead. With four wounds, taking six will remove him from the table. Okay, so it looks like the tyrant got him there. Uh, do I get to fight you back? Uh, yeah. That was your fight for the turn? Yeah. Yeah. Since you already fought here and here, I'm actually going to fight you over here because I am actually nervous of you uh, doing two wounds to me on some randomness and taking out that demon prince. So he's going to fight you five times plus one attack for his talents. Looking for twos, re-rolling the ones. Got them all. Uh, this is going to be twos again. Uh, go ahead and take... Five dudes off the table. Because uh, he'll cut right through them. Five guys die in that fashion. Then he can select them to fight. So we counted it, it's nine attacks. So, okay. So four, looking for sixes. Got one, one. uh-oh. Uh, three one. up. Yeah. He's safe. And then we're going to fight. I'm going to defend myself here. We're okay. supposed to roll all of these one at a time. Oh. Yeah. And it's minus one to hit, but on unmodified sixes, I do three mortal wounds to the unit, and the attack sequence just stops. So, like, for instance, if I roll a six on the very first attack, it's three mortal wounds, and then the attack stops. Okay. Okay? So we're going to do this the right way. So the first attack, he got it. The second attack, that's a fail. Third attack is a fail. That's a hit. And that's a six. So the attack sequence will stop there, but we're gonna resolve these two before it. It's gonna be um, two attacks on six. So looking for threes, got them both. These are two AP minus twos. So I ignore it. Yes. So fours, I'll save one. Okay, it's flat three. So, so kills one, this guy. And then it'll kill another one for the three mortal wounds. And that's that. The last fight we have is the Master of Executioner. He's got five attacks and then plus one because he was charged. Or five, so fives. Give me two AP minus twos on your big monster guy. Yeah, I got one. Got one. Got one. Fill one. Two damage flat. So he goes from I think twelve to ten. You'll have to look it up. So he goes down to ten. And that's all of our fights, huh? Yep. So that's the end of turn four, Nids. That was a pretty good turn, bro. Uh, I guess. I mean. You, did, you didn't kill these guys, but I am still in combat, so who knows? And we'll go to turn four world leaders. Um, so I'm only going to score one here, um, which will put me to ten. So we'll see if I can keep him from off this objective, hopefully. And maybe he'll only score one and I can get line breaker. That's my main goal. So we'll see. This is where I'm at. We'll see you after movement. All right, so this is pretty much where we we ended up. These guys finished getting to that objective over there. And then these fellas who are right here pushed onward and they're gonna try and 
charge that fly rinse. We moved up on that side. Uh, we're gonna go back up our guy and our ax guy fell back over here and I moved this one lone disciple right here to try to hold it down. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go straight into shooting phase. Uh, that's eight pistols into the, the fly rinse because we don't do psychic. Um, wow. And then fives here. Uh, give me one. Got it. Got it. And that's all my shooting. Thanks for watching shooting phase. <laughs> Next, we will go to charge. So charge phase, I'm going to charge these guys right here into that fly rinse. Guns? Has guns? No, no has guns. No has guns. So got it on a nine. We will pile in there. I'm also gonna charge that group of guys over there into the warriors just right there. And they are locked in combat right now, so they won't get to overwatch either. Mm, just gonna, okay, so 10, but I don't really need 10. And I'm not gonna use 10. I'm actually gonna use the six. Cause I felt like I shook that a lot more than I should have, but. Six will get me where I need to go. We'll see you after I get them in. So these guys ended up getting like that towards the Warriors. And I played a little smarter and left my guy right here. Hopefully this was a smart play too, to kind of keep him in the way so that he couldn't just come over here on another turn. And then that's how that charge panned out. And then we'll go straight into the fight. From those guys right there, it's gonna be 16 ax attacks into the fly rinse. Um, we're looking for threes, and then we're looking for fives here. Oh man, I got two. AP minus one. Uh, Fail one. One damage. Okay, goes from four to three. It goes from four to three. Well, this is 21 chainsword attacks. Uh, no rerolls here. And then this is five. This is five ups here. Oh boy. So seven AP zeros. Seven three ups. Got them all, that's no good. So we'll get to fight them again, but not till later. And then the squad over there is gonna fight the warriors. Let me count the attack. So 13 ax attacks into the Tyranid warriors. Looking for threes. Got every single one of them. This is threes again, rerolling all fails because of the exalted champion. Rerolling fails here. That's a fail. Nice. One guy's dead, at least. Just one guy dies. So this is gonna be 20 chainsword attacks on threes. This is threes again, re-rolling all the fails. Uh, these fail. So it looks like three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen AP zeros. Oh man. That's a dead warrior. And that's a dead warrior. And one guy's at one. The last three colors there. So we're choosing not to consolidate there so we can stay on that objective. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is choose a guy to fire, or choose a unit to fight for the phase. Uh, I'm gonna choose that Corn Berserker unit once again, uh, which means Willow get to fight me here first but I really need to kill that flyer into score and I'm more likely to do it there. So here we go. So 12 attacks versus the Tyrant on threes. Um, and this is fives. Also no rerolls. This one ran away, but we're gonna count it. It's not um, a floor dice. It's definitely not a floor dice. So four AP minus ones on the flyer. Uh, failed one. Only failed one. He's down to two. Yep. And then we'll do chainsword attacks. So it's going to be 13 attacks on threes. 
fill that one and that one. And then this is going to be five ups again. Uh, looking for two, three, four saves. Roll me low. No. Saves them all. Does not care. We really tried. Uh, actually, though, I will consolidate onto that objective, which I, I should have thought to do after my first fight. I could have got on it harder after my second fight, but we are going to consolidate onto that objective. So it gets us like that, we will get that objective unless he murders us off of it. The last fight is over there. He gets to fight all his uh, bugs. Two, oh snap, and he, this could kill him. Once. <laughs> no, I don't wanna. <laughs> he survives. <laughs> Fighting you back with a demon prince. You're rolling the one. Nope, stays a one. Two ups. That's uh, five dead dudes. And they still hold that objective. This goes to show you how strong the mob is. But he does get to fight me back here with the fly rent. The fly rent is tiered. Oh, yeah. So it's probably hitting on fives, yeah. Sorry. I got one. Nope. No. Tail attack. <laughs> Tail. Nope. Nope. All right. That's the end of my turn, buddy. Let's go to turn five. So turn five, we're going to score two points, right? One for there and one for over there because you're still sitting on it. Puts you at 11. Yep. What you think, man? Can you do much more? No. Not really? I don't think I can come back from this, so... If I end my turn right now, yeah. strictly speaking, and we don't go to turn 6, you're going to go from 10 to 11, 12, 13, 14... And and fifteen if you count line breaker. Well, he's not wholly, he's not within. wholly within. Yeah, so that's true. That's very true. But you would get fourteen to my eleven, and then maybe if you'd we score. get turn six, um, then you would get a line breaker, and also another one, two, three, four points. Yeah. So math hammering this out, buddy. I'm gonna say good game. All right, brother. That was a good game, man. I had a blast. I yeah. There was a point there where I, 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 I was like, man, I got this because I was just murdering stuff. But the points were neck and neck. I mean, even at the end of this turn, it's 10 to 11. But he's right. I just have more bodies. Even if he, even if, I mean, he probably won't kill all those guys with one attack. I mean, he can smite and attack. So even if he kills those guys, he won't kill that guy for sure. He'll probably stay there. And then he can move in on those guys. But again, he probably won't have the number of attacks to destroy all those models. So yeah, I agree with Will. This is not there. Yeah. It was fun, man. And I hate to be like a guy who beats a dead horse. So like, if, if you want a handshake, I completely understand. I would rather handshake than uh, and clean up my models. Then drag it out. Drag it out <laughs> I hear that, bro. Well, I had a blast. It was a good game. It was a great game. Um, the world eaters are pretty scarred, but they're still victorious this time. All right, bro. Well, I had a, I had fun, bro. I hope you had fun too, man. Yeah, I had a great time. Um, so, uh, how, how, uh, how was the game, man? Uh, it was, it was fun. It was really hard. Um, very unpleasant experience <laughs> for my first time fighting corn that's as aggro you know as you get except for maybe jet bikes you know i can't think of any and, and or cars that's the only thing i think that's more aggro than what that is right there it's it's a lot it's a lot of bodies it is man it's a lot a lot of bodies yeah and i just didn't have the, the output what do you think what what some mistakes you think you made Carnifex is in the front, maybe. Yeah. Uh, maybe like a splitting my shots. You mentioned that. Too yeah. Earlier. Um, specifically, more so in the in combat. In the combat, yeah. Than in the shooting phase, but 
I think aside from that, I did everything that I was supposed to do. Yeah, I think, you know, and then a lot of it was down to your dice rolls. Like, if we watch this later, I'm going to notice. I, I was noticing, you know, live that uh, your dice rolls were pretty harsh. Like, especially in the wound side, you know. Especially turns one and so, two. And I've seen you roll five and sixes like nobody's joke. So, <laughs> so I don't know, man. It just wasn't with you today. It, it really wasn't. Uh, what do you think I could have done better, if anything? Um, you did everything right. So. <laughs> I, I I made some mistakes at the end. You probably didn't notice. I did point them out on camera, but aside from just missing your litanies or whatever, your yeah, prayers, I, I just stopped using uh, them. <laughs> aside from missing those, I, I don't think you did much wrong. Like just looking back at it, you played right and good, had good dice rolls. And I played right and halfway good and had decent dice. Yeah, man. I don't think you screwed up really bad or anything. I just, you know, splitting splitting fire, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it. But splitting fire, you know, that sort of thing ensures a, a, a kill, you know. So, but, but I had fun, bro. I had a lot of fun. No matter win or lose, a lot of fun. Me too. Every time. Um, so, how was your game today, bud? Man, I had a blast. Uh, I really love playing corn. Uh, I can't tell you. It's been a struggle for me and playing corn. It's definitely been a learning curve. I, I've come a long way from just getting busted up. Playing an aggro only army that doesn't shoot very much means you have to learn uh, your fight phase. You have to learn what your army can do because it's a lot different than what other armies can do. Fight phase is very powerful, but if you don't know how to use it properly, you'll just get shot off the table. So for me, this is a, a big deal. You know, I've come a long way, that is to say. So I'm kind of proud of myself. You know, if I could pat myself on the back, I guess. You know, I, I had fun. Definitely know how to utilize the fight phase. <laughs> so what are, you, what, are, what are some things that you think you, you could have done better? Um, if anything. So, uh, like you said, I just kind of forgot my prayers towards the end. That, that, and uh, when I did some advance rolls on the last couple of turns, instead of like when I failed them, instead of daisy chain to stay on some of the objectives, I did some wonky moving, and I came off of them, and I took those points away from myself. And if I had them, it probably would have made you decide earlier, you know, if you were gonna scoop or, or if I had the game it would have nailed that definitely would have been a nail in the coffin scenario because I would have got a bigger lead on you and you know monkeying around and, and getting a little overconfident you know I, I did leave you almost could have caught up to me you know if I didn't get such powerful attacks but yeah I, I probably could have done that a little better uh, what, what do you think uh, I could have done better as chill will uh man I just think you had some really bad dice rolls it was I've seen you roll crazy good so today was just I guess your luck running out I did notice a lot of times in combat you're splitting your attacks and when you're playing nids in the wounds you can't really afford to give up your attacks anywhere else sure you might be rolling twos or threes to hit and re-rolling ones but when you go to re-roll when you go to roll wounds and you're rolling five ups you really need every single attack you can throw at one thing to bring it down so that and um that was pretty good and then maybe focusing your shots like maneuvering your guys uh like your big guy he was in the corner if you had moved him to maybe try to get another angle you probably could have shot something else i don't know mm. uh, yeah i like shooting twice with all I, of my guns i understand that but moving him once like in early in the game may change everything like if you could have just moved him to the other edge of that objective you could have got a different angle on the whole board and then maybe not that first turn but every turn after that just left him there and got your two shots off and then trying to focus on either whatever infantry you could see and doing your best to ignore my tanks i know i kind of put them up there and in your way you know, and I do a pretty good job of that because I'm used to just getting my infantry blasted off the field. So I know I didn't make that easy for you, but that, that's something to think about trying to exploit the troops. 
because they are truly the most powerful units in an objective-based game where they just have priority. Yes. So, so thanks again. I am Sergeant So-and-So. I'm Chill Will. And we are Swamp, Swamp Tactics. Tactics. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you next time. Have a good